Chivas. Huh? What is the difference between shooting a rolling guava and shooting that peach? I know. A guava rolling on the ground won't speed up as it rolls, so it's easier to shoot. But when it falls downward, it speeds up. So you have to first think of where it will fall to before you shoot. That's right. <laughs> When there is not any force affecting it, an object will not speed up as it rolls. But when the object is rolling on a slope, the sphere's center is affected by gravity, just like the peach falling in the air falls faster and faster. This is called motion on an inclined plane. But uh, did you guys know that on different kinds of slopes, the speed of the rolling peach will be different? <laughs> Let's release the peaches together and see whose peach hits the ground first. Okay. The higher the slope, the faster it falls. Well, you see, on a slope, there is a force drawing the object downward toward the ground called gravity. The other force is the slope holding up the object. This is called supporting force. After gravity offsets the supporting force, a new force is created as the object rolls down the slope. It is the force sliding the peach downward. The higher the slant of the slope, the greater the force sliding the peach downward. So the peach will definitely speed up as it rolls. So if Jiwas wants to shoot a mangrove rolling down a slope, she'll have to shoot accurately and also pay attention to the height of the slope so she can quickly hmm. figure out how far the mango will travel. Exactly right. If that's what it takes, then Moody is really impressive. If you can shoot a peach falling in the air, then you can definitely shoot a mango rolling down a slope. Okay, then I better practice some more. Bihui! <laughs>